Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yes. Can you hear me now? Hear yes. Can you hear? Me? Ah, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about it. Uh, everybody can hear me. Raise your hands, please. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry about it. Okay, guys. So um, just let me uh, that one. Okay. Bienvenidos. Uh, vamos a hablar este pedacito así, esta partecita en español. Bienvenidos. Es un placer estar acá. Eh, eh, mi nombre es José Fidencio López. Eh, José Fidencio López. Eh, Mr. López, eh, como se me conoce. Entonces es un placer estar acá y pues yo voy a estar trabajando junto a ustedes, eh, junto a ustedes la, lo, que es, lo que es este curso, eh, que tenemos cuatro semanas y vamos hasta el 16. Ok, eh, déjeme hablarle un poquito de mi persona, eh, no los voy a entretener mucho, eh, no los quiero aburrir tampoco. Bueno, eh, mi nombre es José Fidencio López o Mr. López. Eh, pues eh, en cuanto a mi formación académica, déjenme decirles que ya tengo bastantes años en, en este rublo, en la experiencia trabajando junto eh, a estudiantes, a participantes, este, lo que es el idioma inglés. Eh, soy docente de inglés o facilitador o tutor, como le quieren llamar, y pues eh, dentro, dentro de mi preparación, eh, tengo pues eh, diplomados, eh, este que muestra acá es en español, eh, diplomado en aprendizaje basado en competencias, pero tengo muchos de ellos que son en inglés, eh, eh, diplomados, diplomas con muchas horas de duración, incluso meses, hay algún par por ahí que pues nos tomó un, un, un poquito más de un año, pero era por la duración, pues como lo habrán notado, pues soy nativo del idioma inglés de habla hispana, eh, la lengua matar y con inglés avanzado entre mis quehaceres por los años que tengo de experiencia. En mi experiencia laboral, más de 20 años en la, como facilitador o docente del idioma inglés, eh, incluso pues dentro de ese tiempo que ya son más de, e incluso más de 25, eh, pues estuve como 15 años como coordinador de un departamento de inglés de un colegio. Esto me abrió las, la, el campo, las puertas, por decirlo así, para la preparación internacional, con diplomas, diplomados, eh, cursos eh, de manera internacional, tanto de manera presencial fuera del país como eh, en línea o por estos medios. Eh, de, de las evaluaciones, las evaluaciones y las uh, tareas. Eh, como ustedes saben, pues eh, es necesario obtener el, el 80% de promedio entre las tareas, los midterm y los exámenes finales para poder promover el, el curso, completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Eh, pues, pero como no, que no nos conformamos con un 80%, sino que también pues, queremos llegar al 100%, pues eh, le vamos a meter ahí. En las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, creo que ustedes ya están familiarizadas con ello, en la plataforma se recomienda trabajar en ella justo después de cada clase o al menos cubrir eh, los temas que, que ahí corresponden. Eh, he sido muy cuidadoso a preparar mi clase basado en el manual que ustedes tienen, en el, basado en el manual, pero también he ido revisando las tareas por cada una de las secciones que tiene ahí si eh, se cumple el, el, el programa. Eh, todas las tareas y temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes del día viernes de la medianoche, porque las personas que llevan la logística, o sea, usted hace la tarea, entra a su plataforma, hace la tarea, eh, responde los ejercicios y luego le da a enviar, porque si no le da a enviar no le van a llegar las tareas ahí. Y las uh, personas que llevan la parte logística, pues estas las tienen que enviar semanalmente a, a, a Insafor. Materiales de apoyos. Eh, hay material, ustedes tienen el material de apoyo que está en la plataforma. ¿Ya lo, ya lo vieron por ahí? ¿Ya lo tienen algunos? 
me puede responder en el chat o en el chat o, o de manera verbal. Que es un manual que está en la plataforma. Saúl, cuenta con ello, ya lo vio. Todavía no, teacher. Todavía no. Ya, Ah, ok, Re Rebeca. Sí, ya. Gracias. Ok, Nubia. Yes. Ok, good. Ok, sí, ahí, ahí está en, el, en, un, en, el, en la plataforma. Usted lo puede tener de, de manera digital o lo puede imprimir y bajar, e incluso bajarlo, si sí, para leer más fácil, eh, manipularlo en, el, en, su, en su dispositivo. Eh, contamos con cuatro semanas para, la, para cubrir el curso completo. Este curso va, como ya, ya lo sabemos, ya sabemos, de lunes, eh, per, de lunes a jueves. En esta semana, pues tendríamos que cubrir secciones 1 y 2, que son, que en el manual le parecen como unidad 1, unidad 2, unidad 3, unidad 4, unidad 5. Pero en este, en, de, aquí en este criterio lo tenemos como secciones. Entonces nos referimos a la unidad 1 y 2 que la debemos de cubrir en, en, el primer, uh, en, la, en esta semana 1. En la semana 2 vamos a cubrir el, la sección 3 y al final de esa sección hay un midterm, o sea, un, como un pequeño laboratorio, un examen, como usted le quiera llamar. Eh, eh, todos los ejercicios tienen que ser enviados. En la semana 4 vamos a cumplir la sección 4 eh, o sea la unidad 4 y en la semana en la semana 3 perdón y en la semana 4 vamos a, a cubrir la sección o la unidad o lo, el, la unidad 5 del material y se va a hacer el, el examen final vamos a ver si lo, lo pueden hacer mientras estamos aquí o lo hace inmediatamente después de la clase alguna pregunta al respecto ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? La pueden hacer en el chat. ¿No hay preguntas? Bien, eh, las políticas de asistencia, pues eh, tenemos que asistir a un 80%, pero les sugiero que que lo haga a un 100% eh, de ser posible, eh, puesto que perdemos algo, perdemos un tema, perdemos un, algo que vayamos a trabajar en la plataforma, eso se nos va a complicar un poquito para no entenderlo, o, o, o dificultades para responder. El avance y desarrollo de la plataforma es sumamente importante, se debe de quedar evidencia, o sea, la evidencia está entre los avances. Nosotros vamos a poder ver el avance de cada uno de ustedes de manera grupal y de manera individual. Entonces, por ello es muy importante trabajar en esto. El inicio de las clases, pues, eh, iniciamos este día y iniciamos de 9 a 10 de la noche. ¿okay? Hay que, según los horarios establecidos, es de 9 a 10 de la noche. Eh, una de las cosas que sí um, le voy a pedir encarecidamente es de que tengamos las cámaras encendidas, eh, puesto que con las cámaras encendidas, cuando hablamos, platicamos, yo sé, entiendo que no es lo mismo estar de manera presencial eh, que de manera remota, pero si tenemos las caras encendidas, nos podemos ver, aunque no los pueda ver a todos a la misma vez, pues la, la conversación se vuelve más familiar. En ese sentido, les voy a suplicar que no tengan miedo en responder, en escribir, que me voy a equivocar. Eso es, eh, es lo normal. Y si no tenemos errores, quiere decir que no hay aprendizaje. Entre más nos equivocamos, eh, eh, hay aprendizaje. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Eh, es aprendizaje. Eh, otra de las cosas es que la clase tiene una duración de 60 minutos. Dis, mi disculpa por lo del audio. Ah, tenemos que trabajar en eso y es que lo que pasa es que brinco de una clase a la otra. Entonces tenemos 60 minutos y en las cuatro semanas, eh, si tenemos, eh, vamos a tener, si no me equivoco, 16 horas. 
y es importante, eh, eh, pues la plataforma también Zoom les va tomando en cuenta cuando entra, cuando sale, los minutos que lleve, el tiempo que dispuso dentro de la plataforma misma. Eh, eh, los ejercicios de la plataforma, ya lo decía, hay que trabajarlos y enviarlos antes de la medianoche del día viernes. Y esto le va a garantizar el tener el 80% o nota mínima de, de 8 o más, eso le va a garantizar que usted tenga un diploma que, cursó este, eh, que hizo este curso y que pues que lo aprobó satisfactoriamente. ¿Alguna preguntita? ¿Alguna? Ok, gracias, Carlos. Eh, dentro de las normas de convivencia, pues, eh, les voy a pedir que, que sí me participen, ¿ok? Que me mantengan el botón de silencio, de apagado, y que sí haya una participación y encenderlo esto cuando usted vaya a decir algo. O, o yo se lo solicite. Este día vamos a trabajar, el, eh, este día y posiblemente mañana, el idioma de vamos a producir. ¿Cómo? A través de la participación activa, o sea, verbal, y a través del, de, de, los, de los mensajes o comentarios que hagamos en el chat sobre los temas que vamos a ir viendo. ¿Ok? Sobre los temas que ir viendo. Entonces, eh, sí, a la lista de asistencia, un par de minutos antes de, de terminar, pues yo la voy a pasar. Y ahí sí le ruego que me, eh, de estar presente, me diga present, ¿ok? Inmediatamente, porque así no nos tardamos mucho, porque así yo le marco eh, si está presente o no está presente. Eh, veo que tienen los nombres completos, eso es muy bueno. Veo algunas cámaras apagadas y a otras encendidas. Gracias por los que tienen encendida y las que tenemos apagada, pues tratemos de tenerla uh, encendida. Repito, aunque no los pueda ver a todos de una sola vez cuando estoy presentando, pero sí pues yo trato de ir corriendo para verles las caritas y, y conocerles. Eh, nombre completo, eh, cámara encendida, por favor, por favor, es, es muy importante. Y, con, y hay que usar audífonos eh, para evitar el, lo, los sonidos o las interferencias externas o que se den a nuestro alrededor. Entiendo que todos tenemos mascotitas y estas a veces tienden a ser un poquito de, de, de bulliciosas, pero para que no haya mucha interferencia. Y además, pues, eh, como decía al, al inicio, el botón de la cámara apagado. ¿okay? Y a la participación, encenderlo y responder y apagar. Eh, participación activa a través del chat, en los foros, en... Al, al, eh, eh, prontamente los voy a mandar a practicar a, a, a practicar conversaciones a discutir temas eh, aquí tanto de, de, de manera en parejas, en pequeños grupitos eh, por favor sí, no, que no nos dé pena porque es parte del quehacer uh, uh, de aprendizaje de un segundo idioma como lo es el idioma inglés eh, el uso del chat, ya lo mencionaba, es bien importante. Si no quiere participar uh, así de manera verbal, bueno, le voy a responder esta pregunta a Mr. López en el chat. Yo voy a ir leyendo alguna respuesta. Y que quede claro y se entienda, por favor, que no voy a evaluar si la respuesta está correcta o incorrecta. El objetivo principal es de que usted produzca el idioma. ¿Cómo? De manera escrita, de manera verbal. Ok, eh, ese es el objetivo. Así que, por favor, tengamos una participación activa. Eso va a garantizar que... Lo, uh -huh. eh, ah, ok. Eso va a garantizar de que, pues, eh, eh, adquiramos las competencias necesarias para hacer uso efectivo del idioma inglés. Ok. Y... Levantar la mano, ok, si quiere participar, de, eh, me desea participar en alguna pregunta. Entre más participaciones tenga, será mucho más adecuado. Levánteme la mano, que ahí me aparece con su nombre completo y yo inmediatamente le doy la palabra, ok, para, para no quitarle el impulso, la intención 
y la gana de responder. Siempre mantener el respeto entre uno y otro. ¿okay? Eh, ¿Alguna preguntita? Ah, ok. Gracias por avisar. Este, ¿Alguna preguntita? Ah, por favor, dígame sí. sí. ¿Perdón? No, no, ok. Todo bien, todo bien entonces. Ok. Eh, creo que, bueno, ya hablamos de esto, de cámara encendida y es importante la, 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 el uso de, de los auriculares y pues la vestimenta también. Entiendo que ya, ya nos queremos ir a acostar, que ya es tarde pero pues eh, es importante estar vestido adecuadamente. Ya saben que estamos filmando desde el inicio, ahí les, les dijo, la, les avisó de que inmediatamente yo entré, este, se empezó a grabar la clase. ¿okay? Y de esta manera usted puede ver los contenidos que se vamos tra trabajando también dentro de ella. ¿okay? Así es que... Eh, eso es lo que conlleva un poquito de lo que soy yo, a medida pues vayamos avanzando, me, va, me van a ir conociendo un poquito más ok eh, bien, vamos a dar inicio a la clase, estamos listos vamos a dar inicio Bien, entiendo que llevamos inglés formativo eh, eh, preavanzado a uh, módulo 1. ¿Estoy en lo cierto? Sí, yes, sí. Ok. Sí. Yes. Eh, yes. Ok. Esto es lo que les aparece a ustedes en la... Solo les voy a mostrar aquí la... Esto es lo que les aparece en, la, en el material que tienen. Am I right? Love and marriage. Uh, someone can tell me if it is the, this, what is in the material? Uh-huh. Is that correct? I'm checking right now. Ah, ok, please, please, please. Ah, ok. But someone said that I had a handy, right? Yeah. That's correct. Oh, that's correct. Okay, thank you very that's much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just, I just wanted to confirm that. Okay, guys, so let's start over there. Okay, the snapshot. Uh, we have all over there a uh, learning objective. What is the learning objective? Uh, Nubia, can you read it, please? Okay. 
Learn vocabulary and for relationship. Okay, learn vocabulary for relationship. Uh, what is a relationship? Relation. Okay, sorry. okay, but try to tell me in English. What is a relationship? Yeah, good. That's that's something that you say in Spanish. Is okay. 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 When okay. when two two per, two people uh, um uh, start to to have date or maybe um uh, a couple. Okay, a couple. Uh, two people start a relation. That's what are you going wanted to say? Yes, that's a relationship. A uh, relationship between two uh, two people, okay? It can be friends, it can be husband, it can be wife, it can be... Um, uh, but the relation that is, that is established through um, uh, and between people. Okay, so um, please do not look at the material, okay? And try to answer these, uh, these uh, questions in the platform. What do you think? uh women look most in a in a partner in our country what do you look for uh what women look for a partner in el salvador what are the main characteristic or things that they the this uh uh the women look for a for a partner can you answer in the chat please Uh, uh, answer in the chat. Okay, and uh, I need uh, uh, one or two participations, two or three participations. Let's see, Carlos, what do you think? Carlos Alberto. <laughs> money, teacher. Ah, money. Why do you say money? <laughs> okay. Uh, Rebecca, what do you think uh, uh, you as a woman look for a partner in uh, in, in our country? Um, oh. I think uh, maybe that he's handsome. Okay. Uh, only handsome. Remember that I'm not evaluating if the answer is good or is correct or incorrect. I just wanted to participate. Uh, Natalie, what do you think? Uh huh. Yeah, teacher. Yes. Yes, Rebecca. Es que creo que hay dos Rebecca. Ah, okay. But Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Natalie, Rebecca, and Rebecca, you know. Ah, okay. Natalie, Re Rebecca. Ah, okay. And what about you? What do you think? Um, think that look uh, person uh, responsible little friends, person responsible. Oh. Okay, okay. And uh, Daniela, what do you think? Maybe uh, be a worker. Okay, uh, hardworking. Okay, be hardworking. Okay, and what do men look for most in a partner in El Salvador? So you already said something about women. What about men? Okay, I have some answers on the chat, I believe. A woman look on a partner, hard will be working. Uh huh. And, ah, okay, Rebecca is driving. Okay, what about me? Uh, about me, a uh, beautiful body. Okay, a beautiful body. <laughs> okay. What about characteristics as a, as a person, a pers uh, personality? Uh, Claudia, Maria, what do you think? Beautiful hey guys. body, teacher. Beautiful uh, body. A beautiful and... body. Uh -huh. yes. and... uh, okay. Hey guys, try to, to try to answer in, in the chat. Okay. And in North America, 
like uh, like uh, you know uh, is uh, we're Central America and North America, the United States, uh, Canada. Uh, does the women look for a partner uh, most? Uh, leadership qualities. You know what leadership uh, is? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, the, uh, quali the qualities, the, the, the qualidades del... To be a leader, right? To be a <laughs> leader. To be a leader. Uh -huh. Yes, earning uh, earning potentials, a sense of humor, intelligence, job skills to be successful. What do you think of these qualities, uh, uh, guys? Rebecca Paola, what what would be the most important for you uh, for a for a partner as a woman? Hi, teacher. Um, I think that a sense of humor. Oh, a sense of humor. Okay. Why do you like? Why do you think a sense of humor? It would be one. Uh, because uh, if. When when we work with someone that he is funny, um, I don't know, we have a great time. You have a great time. Good, excellent. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much. And what about you, Ed Alicet? Which one would be the which one or which one would be the most important for you? In my case, I I prefer that uh, man. Um, handsome and ah. and handsome and and funny because uh -huh, okay I, ah because sense of humor okay these qualities yeah, that we have these uh, qualities that we have listed over here so you agree with uh, sense of humor okay one more uh, yes. uh one more uh, uh let's see uh, Daniela Mercedes, which one of the qualities listed over here is the most important for you? Or which ones are the most important? For me, it's the leadership qualities. I'm uh, sorry? Ah, oh, leadership qualities. Okay. Yes. Okay. Why why is that would be that one? Yeah, maybe if you have a leadership quality. Uh, I have a, um, a good time with him because she has an initiative. Okay, yeah, okay, so starting. Okay, thank you very much, uh, ladies, for answering the uh, try to uh, say something about it. Okay, what about men? Uh, physical attract attractiveness, uh, warmth and affection, homemaking ability, fashion sense, social social skills, and sensibility. Uh, let's see, uh, Raul, Antonio, which one of the one skills here is the most important for you? Uh-huh. Ah, I have some answers over here. It says independent woman, a woman who likes to be independent. Good. Okay. Uh-huh. Carlos, could you say something about which one is the most important for you? Uh, honesty uh maybe truth between both ah okay so why um okay why why would you look for it okay let me because of the time is running saul what it would be the I, most uh-huh i believe the most important 
um, it's uh, look like uh, for men it's uh, we have physical attractiveness, uh, warmth and affection, on making ability, so social, social skills. skills, and social skills. Why do you think a woman must be uh, a man must be social skills, or a, a woman, a woman, a woman? Mm -hmm. In this case, um, must have social skills. In my in my in my case. Um... I think I, the, the woman most important is um, yeah you say uh, social yeah. skills to be sociable to be outgoing easygoing uh, person right yeah okay thank you very yeah, much yeah the homemaking abilities okay Hey, what about you, uh, David Antonio, uh, David Alonso? What do you? Which one will be the most important? David Antonio. I say someone part a woman who likes. Teacher, to... teacher. Uh huh. Yes. I, I was with my microphone off. Um, oh. Yes, I was saying that in my. I don't know the others, but in my. In my opinion, I think warmth and affection is very important uh, with a, uh, in a girl because without that, uh, the uh, relationship would be um, wouldn't work. Oh, wouldn't <laughs> work. Be, it will be broken, right? Yes. Okay. So, so. Because homemaking ability, we can learn social skills, we can learn sensitivity uh, is very important. Physical attractiveness. Um, with the through the years that is lost oh <laughs> uh, yes so, exactly so for me it's very important both and affection okay thank you very much thank you very much uh it is nice to listen to you okay um which one of the qualities about are the most important uh to look for a partner uh, could you please uh, please use the the chat it's good that I'm listening to you because I'm, I can see the level that you are, that I can talk, but I, I think we're on the wrong, on the right path. But I need to, I need to see how do you produce the language as well. Remember that we produce it in two ways, oral and written. Please uh, uh, try to say something on the chat, everybody. We have 18 participants, at least 10, 12 participants. Say something about which ones are the most important to look for a partner in the case that you have over there listed. I'm waiting. Okay, good, excellent. Sensibility, warmth and affection. Warmth and affection. Charismatic, good, excellent. Fashionable, uh, fashion sense to be good looking. Good, excellent. The empathy for all people and humble, yes, affection. Good. You see? Someone lovely. Okay. Good. Thank you, guys. And are there other important qualities that we're missing over there? What other qualities can we answer over there? Please. Good feelings, personality. I prefer a smart man. Yes. In my case, uh, a man who will be self-confident, independent, and very responsible. Good, thank you. Ah, you see, it wasn't hard, eh? Okay, guys, so thank you very much. Thank you for your um, answers over there. Okay, there is a, there is a, what do you see on the, on the picture over there? Where are the people? Where are the couple? Raise your hands and say it. Uh-huh, David Alonso, where are they? Maybe. 
Maybe they are at the park. At the park, okay. And David Alonso, what is the man doing? Okay, um, the man is uh, eating a sandwich. Okay. And, and, and he's uh, thinking about himself. Okay. Uh, the, the girl is looking at him, but he thinks that she's thinking that he's pretty looking. Okay, good. Look okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your answers. I think uh, you will not be able to listen to the audio that uh, I have an issue over there. But look at the questions that I have there. Let me see if you hear the audio. Can, are you able to listen to an audio or no? No, no here. No, no, no. okay. Look at the questions over there. What King's problem? Who does Chris suggest? If you can uh, uh, take notes uh, real quickly over there, uh, how will they meet Chris? Okay, take notes of the questions over there real quickly. Okay, let me move to the to the conversation. Read at the conversation and try to answer, please. Are you able to see the conversation? Yeah. Okay. Okay, if you have, uh, uh, everybody, if you have the answer for uh, number one, could you write it on the chat, please? Don't matter if you are, you are not using the, the same words. You can remember that in English, you can say uh, uh, other things using other words, if I explain it well. You can say, uh, you can say the same thing in different way. That's what I meant. What's skin, what, what skin's problem? Write it on the chat, please, guys. Okay. Uh huh. He needs someone to go. To. Okay. Someone else. Okay. Uh, David says uh, she needs someone to go to the party too. Okay, because she doesn't. Uh, how can you say that that one in another way? Could you please write it? Okay, what about number two? What was the question on number two, guys? Uh-huh, I think he hates her and uh, doesn't know how to tell her. What was the question for number two? Uh-huh, she doesn't have a couple to go to the party to. That's Kim's problem. 
it needs uh, someone to or a boy to go for the party. Yes. And what is number two? Let me. No. Uh huh. That was uh, number one, and he suggested Bob Branson. Okay. He suggested Bro Benson. Let me see the answer. He needs to boy to go to the party. He suggested Bob Branson. Good. That's what you wrote before uh, I showed the answer. Okay. And okay, that's King's conversation over there. Uh he says, Chris, do you know any day for a party yet? Uh, actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Mm, what kind of guys do you like it? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. Oh, a sense of humor. Uh, you know, someone like you. Mm, what else? Well, I prefer someone I hate someone in common with uh, who I can talk to easily. I think I just know the uh, just the guy for you, Paul Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, I'll, well, good. Uh, I'll ask him to meet us for coffee, and you tell that. And uh, what was? Uh, what was uh, Nubia? What was the the learning goal for this uh, for this activity? Nubia, Cristina. The learning goal, Nubia. Could you read it? Uh, maybe she can at least Isabel. Elizabeth, what was the learning goal? Uh, practice and conversation and see relative clause in context. Relative clause in context. What are the relative clause in context? Who and that. Okay. So, for example, where do you see relative clause in context? Can you read the sentence? Glendy? Uh, read read that the conversation and tell me where do you see a relative clause in context? Remember that relative clause is who and that. Uh, for example, I like guys who aren't too serious. Yes, and 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 who has a good sense of humor. Yes, that's one. That's one. Is there another? Uh, uh, is, thank you very much, Glendy. Uh, is there another? Uh, let's see. Glendy already. Rebecca Jocelyn, is there another? Uh, who I can talk to easily. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. There is another another example. Of, well, I prefer uh, someone I have something in common with who I can talk to easily. Exactly. That's the one that you say over there. So those are the sense of, uh, those are the things so, about the conversation. It says, King slice guys who can we say that also? Can we say can, can we say that also? Can I use that also?
Okay, it says over there, it no, says serious. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, King likes guys who, I can say that also are serious. Number two. What is number two? Have a good sense of Have a good humor. Sense of humor. Uh, have a good sense of humor. Three. Sensitive. Are sensitive. Are sensitive. Are sensitive. So, and she has a support in common with. Okay. So, okay. The conversation introduces the relative clauses. Relative clauses are who and that. Okay. Who is used only for people. We'll see it uh, uh, in, in a moment. And, but also we can use that. That can be used for things, uh, animals, or people. In this case, we are using uh, who and that only for people. So that's kin. Kin lies guys who are serious. Kin lies guys that are serious. Or in another way, we say kin lies guys who have a good sense of humor. And kin lies guys who that, I'm sorry, that have a sense of humor. So that is the, the grammar, the grammar about it. And what is the learning goal? Uh, what is the learning goal, Saul? Um, practice so, the vocabulary, the, the, the listening, and then the speech. Uh -huh. It says practice relative pronouns. The, the, uh, just read the, the, the learning goal over here, Saul. Okay, practice relative pronouns who and that as subject and objects. As a subject and object. Remember that uh, when I say, so if you know that these sentences, unfortunately, we cannot listen to this to the student. Relative pronouns as subjects. Okay. Look at this sentence. I like guys. Period. They are into serious. How many sentences do we have over there? One or two? We have two sentences. We have two sentences. How can we uh, join them and relate them? I like guys who aren't too serious. Now, the, the, relative, the relative pronouns has brought those two sentences to only one idea. A general idea. For example, the other is the guys, I like guys, they have a good sense of humor. How many sentences? One or two? Two, two. two sentences. How can we brought one idea? Can you read it? I like guys who, who have a good sense of humor. Yes, uh, so the two sentences, the two ideas were brought and only one. So in this case, who or that become a subject that replaces the subject. If you notice over there, we omit they. And instead of they, we use who or that. So that's the simple. Relative pronouns as subject. I prefer someone. I can talk to him easily. How can we change that as a as an object? Using who or that? Uh huh. Using prefer, who or that? I yeah. read it. Read it, please. I prefer someone. I prefer. Someone who I can talk to easily. I can talk to easily. And number two, I prefer someone I have fun with. Uh-huh. And I prefer someone, okay, who yeah, I have, I have fun, fun with. with. Okay. Okay, guys, I think this, um, the let me stop over here, the sharing. I think the time is gone. So just let me uh, uh, pass the attendance.
please say uh, when I call your name, I will try to call it. Um, I will try to call it. Uh, sorry. Uh, when I call your name, please answer present, teacher. Present, mister. Or just present. Okay. Uh, Carlos Alberto Martinez. Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Claudia, Marie, uh, Claudia Maria. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniela Mercedes. I'm present. Thank you. David Alonso. Mejia. Present. Thank present. you. Eda Lisette Pineda Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Glendy Elizabeth uh, Flores Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Uh, uh, Glendy Elizabeth. Present. Isabel Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Isaura Evelia Vasquez de Ponce. Isaura. Eh, Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Please remember, say present. Marco Antonio Quijano es, es. Marco Antonio Quijano. Esquizabal. Eh, Natalie Rebeca Peña. Present. Thank you. And uh, Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Eh, Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Rebeca Janet. Yonele Hernández Castellano. Mm -hmm. Present. Eh, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. I'll try. Rebecca Paola Granados, Iglesias. Present teacher. Uh, Renato Salvador Ramirez, Gonzalo. Present teacher. Present. Okay. Uh, Bruce Marielo Samaya de, de Guardado. Present. Eh, Saúl Alexander Lizano Calderón. Present teacher. Eh, Sil Silvia Tatiana Costa Hernández. Silvia. Present. Ok. Um, ok. Let me see. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at this hour. Uh, thank you for being here. And I'll see you. Thank you for your participation. This participation will be improving. I'm sure about it, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Have thank a beautiful you, night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night, Good night everybody. Night. Good night, everyone. See you. Bye-bye.